Adelaide City Council has got targets for reducing carbon emissions from how it operates. We've been looking at the emissions from all of the different facilities that we've got. Town Hall is third on the list of carbon emissions and so that was a high priority for us, was to work out what we could do to reduce emissions from the Town Hall, which meant looking at all of the energy efficiency opportunities that we could find. Probably the most obvious is the lighting. We've been through and replaced most of the lights now in the Town Hall with LEDs. That was a lot less straightforward than in most buildings because the Town Hall is old and because a lot of the fittings in the Town Hall are unusual, a lot of them are quite decorative, ornate and are in highly significant civic areas such as the uh, council chamber. And so that took a long time of testing different light types and going through the process and making sure that they protect and hopefully enhance the actual heritage qualities of the town hall. We've also installed a new energy efficient chiller. This is an electrical chiller that is far more efficient than the previous chiller and has got far fewer carbon emissions associated with it. We've also replaced the boilers with a very highly efficient system that uses less gas, costs less and has fewer carbon emissions. Council has invested substantially in energy tracking technology. We have two systems, one monitors historical energy consumption, the other monitors in real time. Basically we have reduced uh, energy use by 15% reduce our carbon emissions by 20% and reduce the overall annual costs by $61,000. Council has reduced its carbon emissions across its operations by 60%, but it isn't leaving it at that. It's continuing to drive down its emissions and has a target to be carbon neutral, which means zero carbon emissions. Council has got a very high commitment to sustainability and adapting to climate change and preparing for climate change and so the Town Hall will still be a major part of that.